In order to have 3D printing in a truly production environment, you have to have a reliable, fast, and safe system. We do have door interlocks, which is why this machine is not running right now. We have the doors open so you can see it. But Clay, tell us some of the production hardened systems on these machines that really make them ideal for the factory floor. Yeah, so we started with an industrial controller. This is a true high-end CNC motion control system with servo drives on all axes. Also, these are absolute servo drives, so they know where they are at at all times. If the power goes out, there's still no need to home this machine. It knows where it is. On top of that, we have a true I.O. system, meaning input output. We can get feedback and health monitoring from all of our components here. Uh, you know, we can also get feedback from the axes, what work coordinate system it's in, and we can also get feedback on the actual position of the print in G-code. So, uh, you know, it's good to be able to have an operator see all of these things when running these parts. Uh, and these are lights out machines, you know, they run 24 seven. So you have to be able to monitor the health remotely over the weekends, whatever it may be. Right. When we're talking about speed, making parts quickly is key when you're doing something for production. Talk to us about the speed of these printers. Yeah, so the machines and, you know, as they are, they can run up to 30,000 millimeters a minute. So that's a half meter a second and that's cooking. So not all applications can take advantage of that, meaning it's running too fast for the plastic to set sometimes. But for the guys that have really dialed in their applications for this, it's a game changer. And they're making parts faster than any other production method possible for their, for their use.